Members often ask how to quantify the benefits of using the information framework. And can these benefits really substantially reduce operating expenses, or OPEX? We'll take you through a few examples here, and then you be the judge. Many of us have been in meetings with coworkers, including managers, where a question arises. And the response should include another question. What is the value associated with having a common information model? Let's take a look at that value and the associated cost it saves. You truly will be surprised. We'll take a look at four common uses of the framework shown here and the effort and or cost that can be saved associated with each one. First, let's look at the framework's use as a source of common terminology. One member did not have a common set of terms, such as one for customer, product offering, and service. As a result, everyone had their own term with its own definition and spent tens of thousands of hours each year translating terminology during meetings, both internally and externally with collaborating parties who directly or indirectly provided value to customers. Apply an hourly cost figure to say 20,000 hours then you will be surprised. And these hours did not include the cost of problems associated with mistranslations. Next up is the framework's use as a starting point for an information model. The framework's development has covered about 14 years. It conservatively represents at least 50 person years of effort and includes a collective subject matter knowledge of hundreds of members. What is the cost of 50 person years of effort to your business? What is the opportunity cost lost to develop such a model from scratch? And the model continues to be enhanced to support new technologies such as network function virtualization or NFV. What about the frameworks used to facilitate application integration? This common use of the framework is also an OPEX reducer. I've seen members spend anywhere from five to ten or more person years, depending on the size of the integration effort, mapping proprietary interfaces to one another or to a proprietary model residing in an application integration framework. And the interfaces and models we're often lacking documentation. Here's where the use of the framework shines. The framework can also be used as a starting point for database and interface development. Without an information model to use in this way, each database is typically designed from scratch. To use it again for another database technology often requires a major restructuring of it. And often, the same concepts are modeled quite differently rather than having a common base, such as two totally different views of a customer or partner. This use is a bit of a challenge to quantify in general terms, but often the cost of repeatedly reinventing the wheel in different ways can run into many person years of effort. One thing I learned quite some time ago was that Every unit of currency saved in OPEX, whether it be euros, dollars, yen, and such, is a unit that can increase profitability. Let's see what the coworker had to say about this. The coworker went on to say, the value identified so far focused on benefits to those developing and using an information model in various ways. I'm certain the executives will be able to identify value and other OPEX savings throughout our company. And the value and benefits seem to far outweigh the cost to learn about the SID. We've looked at four common uses of the framework and how they can reduce OPEX. But there are many more which are part of what I call the SID Baker's Dozen Plus. Here they are. And there certainly are more, such as harmonizing industry models, using the SID with other framework components, and standardizing conformance. 
Until next time, see ya.